is in line with our movement for this afternoon. It's what we call the crossover. Sabi nga po, crossover. Crossover. Amen. Meron po tayong verse na pakita today. So, pari po na flash. And in reference to God and God's work, I invite you all to please stand. And let's read this together po. Ayan. Ang hapon po ito sa Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 18. Sabay-sabay po natin pasahin. Let's go. At kayo ay aking pinutusan ng panahong yaon na sinasabi, ibinigay sa inyo ng Panginoon ninyong Diyos ang gawain ito upang aringin. Kayo ay daraang may sagba sa harap ng inyong mga kapatid ng mga anak ng Israel. Lahat ng tao matapang. Amen. So we pray, Father God, maraming salamat po sa araw nito. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you can open our hearts, prepare our minds, and despite, Lord, the hot weather, tulungan niyo po kami, Lord God, to absorb ang inyong salita. And not just to absorb it here, but sa buhay po namin dito, Panginoon. Salamat po, Dios. In Jesus' name we pray, that po nagsabi na, Amen. 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 Maraming na po tayo mo po. Amen. So, the next slide po, Pastor Jen. Ano po ang nakikita nyo sa picture na ito? Hulaan po natin. Ano po yan? Egg. Okay. Sige po, hulaan nyo po. Ito po ng ano? Ayan. Makakahulang may regalo sa akin. Sige nga. Ahas? Wow, okay. Ano pa po? Buwaya. Buwaya? Okay. Ano pa po? Butike. Butike. Sige po. Sa mga options, sa mga options, buwaya, butike, ahas, ang tamang sagot ay... Next slide, please. Beetle. Oh! Yes, beetle po yung mga patik. Actually, ang pinakita ko pong picture na yun ay echo na beetle na tinatawag natin Hercules Beetle. Ito po ang longest species ng Dynastus Hercules. Ang maximum overall length o haba po nito ay umaapat ng, umaapot ng 6.6 inches. 6.6 inches po. Kasama na po yung horn niya. Next slide please. Ayan. So paano alam po natin na ang itlog na nangatiling itlog po ba? Hindi. Dahil whether we like it or not, kung tayo po ay nagsisimula sa basic, ika nga, time will come that we need to grow up. So yung picture ka rin na na-end ay magta-turn into ayan, previous slide po, previous slide. So magta-turn siya into the nyan, so larva. Okay? So after the larva, color yellowish na to, magmo-morph na naman siya, magta-change into this. Nakala niyo po ba yun yung egg kanina? Na nag-change into a larva, tapos naging ganyan. At hindi siya nakontento. Dahil gusto po niya nagbago ulit. So let's change some more. Ganyan. Ang mga yari po sa insecto niya, siya po ay magpulong sa dilim. Nag-iisa lang siya. Malungkot. Okay? Itim ang nasa paligid. Hanggang sa finally, siya po ay mag-change into what we call the Hercules Beetle. At maraming klase po ng Hercules Beetle, tulad po ng susunod. Merong ganyan, na napakagulat. At meron din pong ganyan. Okay. So Hercules Beetle, bakit ko nga po ba pinapakita ito? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you the concept of what we call metamorphosis. Sabi niyo nga po, meta, mor, fa, sis. Altogether, metamorphosis. Ito po ay isang proseso kung saan ang isang maliit na bagay po ay may pinagtagaan yung hindi komportable. Tulad ng nararamdaman po natin ngayon. Komportable po ba tayo? Not 100%. Sapagkat dahil meron po tayong aircon ay hindi pa po siya functional. Kung baga, kailangan po muna natin tumaat sa hirap bago natin ma-appreciate yung ultimate 
destination natin. Amen? Pero bakit na po yan pinapakita? Next slide, please. This metamorphosis is not just exclusive po para sa mga hayo. Hindi po ito para sa mga hayo lamang. Sabagat ang konsepto po ng metamorphosis ay maaaring natin ihantulat, ihiyat, i-compare sa ating mga buhay kung saan tayo po ay dumadanas na sari-saring pagpapakor. Amen? Next slide, please. So let's re recap, no? Yung pinakita ko pong pictures kanina ay pinatawag natin life cycle ng rhino beetle. Ang rhino beetle, ito po yung family. Ang isang ehemplo po ng rhino beetle or rhinoceros beetle ay yung Hercules beetle, isang klase po yun. So from an egg, naging larva, naging pupa, at naging adult. Why am I showing this? Ladies and gentlemen, ito po ang word ng Panginoon para sa atin. It's time for us to go to the next level. Amen? I know that you can be the cutest larva in the entire world, but there's more to being a larva. There's more to being a pupa. You can be the largest, largest beetle, but you have to go through the process. This is a process, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you're going through po, mga kapatid, alam ko po na it's difficult, it's hard, it's uncomfortable. But, there is a promise from God. It is not permanent. The discomfort you're going through, the confusion you're going through, is temporary. And God is going, is going to give you a picture right now of what is to come. Amen? Amen. Next one, please. Meron po akong trivia po para sa inyo. Did you know the humans eat over 300 species of beetles, mostly at the larval stage. Beetles are eaten by humans more than any other insects. In other words, po mga kapatid, yung pinakita pa po insect kanina ay pagkain po pala. Alam niyo po ba yun? Pinakain po yan. Case in point, the next crop. Tignan niyo po siya. Yan ha? Kakainin niyo yan. Fresh. Woo! Ayun. Okay. Now, why am I showing you this picture? Let's pass in that picture. Did you know, mga kapatid, this is exactly what the devil wants to do to us, bilang mga kristyano? Bago ka pa maging longest beetle in the world, at, the, a long, at this stage, okay, let's go back, at that stage, no, mga kapatid, the devil will try to destroy you. Diba sabi ko sa book of John? The devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Even before you reach your potential, mga kapatid, the devil will do everything he can to discourage you, to put you down. How? Number one, by you being offended. Yeah. Okay, let's be practical, mga kapatid. As Christians, are we aware that by now, having offense and experiencing offense na hindi natin matatakasan? Kahit na protecto pa yung tao niyan, kahit pa pastor niyan. You know, time to come, he or she or whoever is the leader is a human being too. And maaari because he or she is not like Jesus, na omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, na kaya tulad ang lahat ng parang kailangan, that person is limited, I am limited, so not all the time when you need us, we're there. Time will come, you will be offended by the people you look, look up to. But here's the thing, mga kapatid, the Lord wants, the Lord wants us to be mature. Offense will come. I repeat, offense will come. But if we want to morph and go to the next level, we have to learn how to get over, cross over the offense. Amen? My challenge for you, is there a person in your life na nakasakit po sa damdamin nyo? Meron po ba? Huwag nyo pong magitin. Isipin nyo lang po. What is the name of the latest person who hurt you to the max? Well, kung sino man yan, mga kapatid, let me tell you this. Back to cross over na po. Amen. Let me remove my glasses. It's time to cross over. Alam ko pong hindi mahirap magpatawa. Amen. Tama po ba? Tama po ba? But I promise you, if we follow the word of God, we can get to the other side. Okay? So, balikan po natin yung picture. Balikan po natin yung picture niya. Let us not allow the devil to cut that destiny that God has for us by living in offense. Okay? By living in another, aside from offense, complaints. Like for example, right now, ang init-init. 
sobra. Grabe, ayoko na mag-church. Ang ingin, ang hirap. Napaka-uncomfortable. Okay? Just wait. It's a process. Amen? Hindi tayo forever na nanihirap sa init. Amen? Hindi tayo forever na naniligo sa pawis. Amen? Because time will come. God will show you if you stick long enough. If you go over the fence. If you be faithful in serving the Lord. We can get over, cross over together. Amen? Sabi nyo nga sa akin mo, walang iwanan. Walang iwanan. Amen. Next slide. Okay, so that here. So again, let me go to my, go back to my point. We as human beings, in life, we go through stages. Amen. So it's time for us to grow up. So it's time for us to grow up. Grow up. And in the, ito, can I tell you something? It's possible for us to be 60 years old, 70 years old, 80 years old, yet because of the events that we didn't get over, we are still living in our 30, 30 year old hurt in offended self. Anong point ko? Minsan hindi to my spiritual maturity, sa physical maturity. Kinangan ko sa maya. Okay? Tama po ba? So let's grow together. Let's grow together. Let's go together. Next slide. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a metamorphosis. It's time for us to go to the next slide. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. Are we learning for so far? Amen. Do you want to change? Do you want to change? Okay? 
He hears her prayer. But let's go back to the, uh, the previous slide. Be tired of the way he used to. Amen? And also there's one thing I'd like to highlight here. It's now mention something in Pastor Ron. He wants me to say this. The reason why we are crossing over at uh, Pastor Alan, don't come down in the church the reason why we are crossing over is this. Because God wants us to be comfortable, to be blessed, to feel that God is working in our lives. At hindi po nagtatapos yung doon. The reason why God wants us to grow and to mature and to reach the highest potential in our lives. Para once we experience the fullness of God's love for us, tayo ay may encourage to go out there and to share the gospel to the lost. Amen? Amen. Kung baga, dahil naranasan mo na yung taste and saw that the Lord is good, we will not be content to just sit here, but we will go out there and reach out the lost. Amen? I tell you the truth, na haba po ang aking puso just a few days ago, meron pong batang lumapit sa akin ng bebenta ng sampagita. At nagbebenta siya ng 20 pesos worth of sampagita. And sure, ako naman na habang ang puso ko, bumili po ako ng sampagita ngayon. At sabi niya sa akin, may dala po ako orange. Sabi niya, hindi. So sabi sa pag sinabi ng Lord sa puso ko, tinan mo anak, there are those na maghihingi ng orange dahil wala silang pambili. Ikaw! Ano nga nila reklamo mo, PJ? Grabe nyo pare. Wow, Lord, I am so blessed pala. And we are blessed so that we can be a blessing to others. Amen? So the reason why you are experiencing His goodness, let's be reminded, so that we can also share the goodness of God to others. Next slide, please. Now, let's talk about the struggle. Ladies and gentlemen, ang pag-crossover ko ay hindi importante. Nakita niyo po sa ating picture, no? Pinagdaanan ng Beatle. Saan siya? Saan siya nakalagay? Sa isang madilim na lugar kung saan siya po ay nag-iisa. Sino po dito nakaranas ng nag-iisa sa buhay? Ako na po ba? Whether you like it or not, time will come that you will feel alone. Example, the people you, were, you used to be close to before, Araw-araw kayo nila lunch. Araw-araw kayo halos dinner. Magkakasama kayo. Time will come due to circumstances. Due to geographical changes. Lumipat ng ibang lugar. Hindi na kayo magkasama. And that feeling of yours na noon, kasi kung magkakasama tayo. Tapos nila ngayon, oops, I feel alone. You know what? That is part of the process. What is God teaching us? Every time two people are separated from each other, it's because God is teaching us this. Do not put your focus and total dependency on that person. Put your gaze on Jesus alone. Amen? Amen? And the moment God puts us back together, we experience another level of wholeness because we find our wholeness from Christ. Amen? So we can love better. We can give better. We can encourage another better because nakuha natin ang wholeness na ito kay God at hindi sa ibang tao. Amen? So it's okay. You may be going through a time in your life that you feel alone. Question, you're questioning yourself. Back to the people. Where are the, where are the close people in my life? Where are they? I invest the time, energy, effort, etc. Where are they? You know what? That's part of the process. Do not shut them. Do not close your doors. Just keep your heart open because time will come. You will see each other again. Amen? Have an open heart all the time. It's a struggle, it's temporary, but there is a Amen? And let's jump down to the... Ah, take note, ito pala. Sinasabi ni God sa atin from this moment on, as we cross over, no more excuses. Wow! Meron po example ng Bible eh. Tingnan po natin sa book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 10. Sinta po, Exodus, chapter 4. Verse 10. Ito po ah, is it the second book in the Bible? Genesis, Exodus. Yeah. Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. Allow me to read it for, for you from the Bible. Tagalog, sabi mo dito. Sinabi ni Moises. By the way, context. 
Se, se God, que na cabeça de Sr. Moisés, gosto niya na gamitin si Moisés para malayanin po ang mga Israelites sa slavery, from slavery in Egypt. Okay? Iyan po yung contexto ng istorya. So sabi din sa verse 10, sinabi ni Moses, Moisés, Panginoon, sa mulat, sa mulat mula pa ay hindi po ako mahusay magsalita. Makapal po ang aking dila. Ito nga, paotal-otal akong magsalita. Oh, sounds familiar? So sabi po ni Moses, sabi ni God, Moses, gagamitin kita. So sabi po si Pharaoh, para palayain ang mga Israelites. Pero ang sabot ni Moses is this, ako po ay hindi magaling magsalita, ako po ay paotal-otal. Okay, let's bring it now to our level, to our generation. Sinasabi ni God, anak, mag-ministry ka na. Anak, sige, sali ka sa ministry. Tignan mo naman yung church, di ba? Tignan mo naman, tayo mo naman, nagdami yung mga tao, di ba? We need leaders here sa church. Tapos ang sagot natin, Lord, hindi ko kaya. Hindi ako magaling lang sa lita. Let's bring up this slide. Go back to the previous slide. No more excuses. Si God, alam niya, bago niya kausapin si Moses, alam niya na po, alam niya na hindi magaling si Moses yet. He chose Moses anyway. At ito pa, kung babasahin niyo po further yung Bible, sabi mo, na nagkali si Lord, si Moses, kasi nga sabi niya, hindi ako magaling magsalita. So sabi ni God kay Moses, di ba yung kapatid mo, si Aaron, magaling siya magsalita? Sige, sure yung God, siya magiging yung tagapagsalita mo. At ikaw ay parang Diyos sa kanya. Kung bagay yung sinasabi ko sa iyo, ay parang sinasabi ko sa kanya. Di ba? Parang kagamitin si kapatid niya. In other words, kapatid, listen carefully. There is a way. Ha? If God tells us to do something, let's stop making excuses because yes, we can't do it on our own. But there is a way. Amen? God is a way maker. Amen? Amen. Lord, thank you for this place na napakainit na yun. Lord, thank you na ako yun. I'm basking my own powies. Thank you. Not everyone gets to experience this. Amen? Diba? Dito, dito lang sa church yan. Kung naliligo ka as you preach. Oh, diba? Fresh na fresh na God. Thank you, Lord. Grabe, no complaints at all. No more excuses. Because you know what? Diba? Let, me, let me just uh, stretch your imagination. Time will come. God will use us to speak to a bigger crowd na walang aircon. So ngayon pa lang, pinitrain tayo sa maliit na lugar. Okay ba yun? So whatever you're going through, mahirap na yan. Take note of this. It's just training. In preparation for the bigger, real thing. Amen? And as we progress, okay, we're about to wrap it up. Our response. Now that we know, hindi tayo mananatili sa larva stage. At dahil dito tayo gusto immediately say that he wants to eat us at that stage, hindi na tayo babayag. Amen? It's time for us to respond accordingly. At sabi dito, let's look at a few scriptures. Sabi dito, get over yourself. It's time to cross over. Can I tell you something? Can I make a confession? I, I'm sure ito lang po, no? I ran 